Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. On this campaign run, I will be playing Hulk Justice and playing the Rise of uh, Red Skull campaign on standard difficulty. The reason I chose Hulk for this playthrough is that uh, I have found that Hulk is maybe not really good suited for true solo gaming when playing on uh, higher difficulties, but I really enjoy playing Hulk on standard difficulty and uh, might as well play the Rise of Red Skull campaign from start to finish with Hulk. And uh, the reason I chose Justice is that uh, there are some new uh, Justice cards like the... Well, let's go see the deck first so I can easily explain what I'm talking about. So. Uh, we have the Sense of Justice that just came in Quicksilver Zero Pack. Uh, this lets me, once I got it in play, uh, it lets me play uh, clear the areas with uh, no resources and uh, for Justice with only one resource. And it also generates a mental resource so that uh, you get the most out of for justices, for example. Uh, there are also a lot of the new basic cards that came in uh, in the recent hero packs, like we have Ironheart, which, which is a good uh, jump blocker, which gives you a card, so you could be able to play play something else with Ironheart. Uh, then there's also Assess the Situation, I think this is a hidden gem in Hulk decks. You can boost your hand size for one turn a bit so you can play more on the next turn, uh, which is really important in Hulk because you are struggling with a really small hand size. Then uh, I am uh, trying out the uh, Resourceful. So uh, Resourceful is an interesting card. Uh, if you have a extra resource and nothing to play with it, uh, you can play the resourceful as a reserve card uh, or a resource, and it's also wild, so it functions well with uh, Hulk's use only strength cards. And also, you can uh, spend it to um, get rid of some villain cards that require a specific kind of resource. But not really sure if it's a good fit for this deck, but. In standard, I don't think we are facing that big of a problem. So, well, uh, that is the deck basically. Uh, Hulk smashes and has some way of removing threat, so we hopefully don't threat out. So we are starting from crossbones, and I already uh, put the uh, experimental weapon. So we have the power gauntlets on crossbones at the start, and that's about it. So, let's get started. So, we have reshuffled the decks and we'll draw our opening hand. Of course, Queen Carrier, Resourceful, Hulk Smash, Under Surveillance and Thunderclap. So, I'm thinking of just Hulk Smashing and that is it. Yeah. So let's uh, let's see. Uh, we'll mulligan these four. We didn't get any extra resources, unfortunately. I will draw one more card, and let's just discard it with the Bruce Banner's own ability. We'll flip to Hulk, we'll play Hulk Smash. And I'll just use this, no point. We'll discard everything at the end of the turn eventually. So we'll just hit crossbones through phase two. So we search for the crossbones machine gun. Where is it? There it is. So now we need to deal 14 more damage to defeat Crossbones. 
I, I actually put this down here. And the machine gun has two ammo on it. Okay, well, uh, at the end of the round we discard everything, or at the end of our turn we discard everything and ready. Draw back up to four. Clear the area. Ironheart, Mockingbird, and Boneless Rage. Okay. Crossbones adds one threat to the main scheme, actually. Yeah, and attacks we won't defend, so. 2 plus uh, the villain attacks me again after this attack. Okay, so uh, we take 2 plus 2 from the machine gun, so 4. Then uh, we get another machine gun shot, so 2 plus 3, so 5. Ouch. But the machine gun is depleted. And we have to lose two cards from hand, and I'll lose the Mockingbird and Iron Hearts. No time for those. And that is the villain phase. Actually, it isn't. We just resolved the attacks, so we get an encounter card with the, which is Hydra Side Arm. Nothing that bad. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. I'm playing the Bundless Rage, so we get plus one attack. I'll hit for four. And that's our turn. We get four cards. Play the area unstoppable force. Assess the situation and for justice. We go to the villain phase, we add a threat. We take two, uh, three plus. We don't have any support to discard, so nothing happens, so we take 3 damage and lose 1 card. I'll lose the for Justice. We get an encounter card, and it is uh, Weapon Master. The villain attacks you if you have if they have a weapon that this game search, so... 3 plus... So 4 damage. Search. This guy comes into play. Okay, well, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, uh, I think we will hit and go to Alter Ego to heal, but... Let's see. I think I'll play clear the area to remove two from here. So we draw a card. Uh, we'll play the assess the situation. I'll just defeat this guy. We lose this when we flip. And that is our turn. So we ready up draw back up to six. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we have uh, a lot of resources. Hopefully we can draw some. Some expensive card next turn to utilize that. So uh, we go to the villain phase. We had a threat to the main scheme. Uh, Crossbone schemes for two. So we barely advance this one. This comes into play with uh, one. And we reveal this. So laser rifle. Okay. Counter card for this turn is Madame Hydra. Okay, well, we'll probably just ignore Madame Hydra then. But that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we have quite a lot of resources and nothing to play with them. So let's check. We'll draw one card. Uh, we get Hulk Smash, so we'll just lose the. Well, this card, and I think I'm just ending this, so uh, we'll flip to Hulk, I will Hulk smash with limitless strength, and we'll defeat crossbones. Okay, well, that was a quick one, 
it sometimes is with the Hulk smashes, but let's continue to absorbing man, so I'll set up that and I'll be right back. So next we have absorbing man on standard difficulty and I ended up taking tactical scanner for Hulk. Uh, it lets me once in the campaign discard it and remove it from the campaign log to draw five cars and I think that might be a pretty good uh, card for Hulk when you want a really big turn you can draw five cards to get a bunch of resources and events in hand but uh, we'll see how this goes uh, I will try to defeat absorbing man as fast as possible so we get the least amount of delay counters so uh, yeah uh, one thing to mention is that we added the experimental weapons into the encounter deck so let's draw our opening hand. We get Banner's Laboratory, assess the situation, resourceful interrogation room and Thunderclap. We really don't need Thunderclap, nor the interrogation room. Actually, I'm removing all of this. We draw five more cards, Limitless Strength, Queen Carrier, Clear the Area, Skilled Investigator and Unstoppable Force. So, I think this is a much better hand to start with. Could actually clear the area to draw a card. So I'm not uh, sure I need the skilled investigator. Okay, uh, we'll skip using Bruce Banner's ability. We'll go to Hulk. I'll use Limitless Strength to play the Queen Carrier. I'll use Queen Carrier to play Clear the Area. We draw a card. Unstoppable Force, so we'll hit for 3 damage. And uh, we'll Use unstoppable force. Ready. Draw a card. Well, nothing useful. Hit for another three damage. That is our turn. Uh, we ready up and draw. We lose Jessica Jones. We draw back up to four. Uh, sense of justice. Resourceful. Hulk smash and clear the area. Okay. We add a threat to the main scheme. Oh yeah, uh, one thing I forgot to do is to resolve the environment we have in place. So, okay, we get the stone environment. Just a quick shuffle for the encounter deck. Yeah, I sometimes forget this um, rocky outcrop. Uh, we get one in delay counter here. Absorbing man attacks. We really don't mind him. Healing, as we can just Hulk smash next next phase. So uh, we take two plus two is four. So sorry, man heals one damage. Encounter card is Hydra Soldier. Okay. Well, uh, that changes our plans a bit. But it is what it is. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, uh, I think we'll uh, play down the sense of justice with the resourceful and queen carrier. Then I will clear the area. Uh, we draw a card. Uh, we get limitless strength, which we will use to play Hulk Smash and hit Hydra Soldier. So, four here. And uh, nine here. Which is enough to advance to phase two. So, 15 health. Uh, 
and we search for the uh, side scheme super absorbing power it has three threat on it and that is our turn we ready up and draw back up to four I'll actually flip to alter ego for this turn just so we get more cards and then we can ignore anything really bad and we don't have any threat there so that's okay so five cards now we get iron heart sub orbital leap for justice crushing blow and resource also at least we could uh, clear up some threat next turn we add a threat to the main scheme uh, we add a delay counter absorbing man schemes for two plus zero that's okay and we get an encounter card first one is uh, discard an upgrade or support you control bye bye sense of justice and snowy hillside with spill search so we have the ice trade and stall tactics which will add one threat to the main scheme so that is that turn let's go to the next turn okay well i'll use the bruce banner's ability to check one card we get the avengers mansion uh, we could keep it i'll get rid of the suborbital leap and then we play it one two three four actually let's keep the crushing blow and we'll use it to draw a card Okay, well, we'll flip to Hulk and we'll hit for 3 damage and I'll play the assess the situation. So that is our turn, we're ready up, lose the crushing blow, we draw 5 cards, we get clear the area, suborbital leap, assess the situation for justice and strength. Uh, we add a threat to the main scheme. We also add a delay counter. Uh, Absorbing man hits for two, uh, two plus three, so five damage. Ouch. And counter card for this turn is advanced, so two plus. And we are stunned. That sucks. Well, it is what it is. We didn't really don't have much of a web attack cards in hand, so that doesn't really bother us that much. But uh, we are three threat to the main scheme. Just a moment, so I'll just change this. So we need to thwart a little to stay stay in the game. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So first we draw one card with the mansion. Immovable object. I'm actually gonna play that, but let's see what else we can do. Uh, we'll remove the stun for starters. We'll for justice this away. We will play the Yeah, we'll play the immovable object. Then we'll assess the situation again. And that is our turn. Ready up. We draw up up to five. To assess the situation. Really liking this card in Hulk. It makes me draw more cards, which is really good for Hulk. Uh, we get Thunderclap, Hulk Smash. Genius, crushing blow, and under surveillance. 
Okay. Um, let's hope we can not get stunned or anything bad, so we can just end it next turn, but we'll see. We are a threat to the main scheme. Sorbium and attacks, I won't defend. Uh, so, we place one threat here, we are at 10. Oh yeah, uh, we added one, one delay counter here also. So, 2, 4, 4 damage. And counter card for this turn is... We change the wood. And we take... 3 indirect damage, so we didn't get stunned, so we can defeat Sorbiman next turn. Oh yeah, and one retaliate back. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, uh, to keep this short, I will just Hulk Smash using Thunderclap, uh, Crushing Blow and Queen Carrier. Oh yeah, let's just for the laps check what we found. Uh, I'll actually play Quake also. Quake will hit for two, then we'll Hulk Smash and Absorbing Man is defeated. And we got four delay counters, which I will log. They are important for later. So I'll just place them over here. And that was Absorbing Man. So next up, Taskmaster. Let's see how Hulk does against Taskmaster. So I'll set up that game and I'll be right back. We are ready to take on Taskmaster next. Uh, we ended up taking basic attack upgrade for Hulk. I just find that getting Hulk to 4 attack is really good against all of the Hydra soldiers, for example, and stuff like that. So that is really good. It also adds one hit point to Hulk, but that's not that important. But yeah, let's see. Uh, we have set up the scenario. We start with Hydra Patrol in play. And uh, we draw our opening hand. And uh, we have the captured heroes there. We get the right, uh, right side schemes in play. We can try to rescue them. We get Helicarrier, Immovable Object, Ironheart, Jessica Jones, and Resourceful. Immovable object is good to keep the rest. I think I will probably mulligan. For justice, Banner's laboratory, genius, clear the area. Okay. I think we will start by playing the immovable object. So we gain 4 hit, hit points and retaliate. Uh, let's just flip. We'll take damage, uh, 2 damage. Then uh, I think I will ignore just or those start hitting so I'll hit for 4 damage that is our turn we discard this go back up to 4 double thunder club and crushing blow and limit the strength so I think that is an okay and for next turn uh, we add a threat to the main scheme we'll take the damage Taskmaster attacks. I'll, I won't defend, so we'll take 3 damage. And counter card is Hydra Soldier. Well, as I said, mm, boosting Hulk's attack to 4 is really good. Okay, well, let's see. That was that turn. Let's go to the next turn. 
So we have some choices here. I think I'm... Oh yeah, um, Taskmaster to one retaliate when the Taskmaster hit last turn. Okay, so I think I'm just uh, gonna use one of the Thunderclaps to crushing blow this Hydra Soldier. And then I'll just Thunderclap 3 damage and hit for 4 damage. So next turn we can... Oh, actually Taskmaster will turn when to retaliate, so uh, we ready up, draw back up to 4. We get another Crushing Blow, King Barrier, Skill Investigator and Suborbital Leap. So we're committed to just beating down Taskmaster without <laughs> removing any threat from anywhere. Hopefully we can do it. And uh, we are a threat to the main scheme. We'll take one... Uh, we'll just add threat. Uh, we won't defend, so Taskmaster hits us for 2 plus 3, so 5 damage and retaliate for one, so we advance to we advance to phase two, so we deal one counter card and uh, 16 hit points and we get an encounter card so first one is Inner Demons. Okay, well, uh, if you are in Hulk, oh yeah, uh, change form, flip your identity. This is uh, the obligation for Hulk is a bit different than the other ones, so I have, well, always have to double check this. So we uh, flipped. If you are in Bruce Banner, discard two cards from your hand. Discard this obligation. We'll discard these two cards. So, Queen Carrier, Skill Investigator. Then, uh, next one is... You are confused when you're in Alter Ego. That is... Okay. And uh, Mimicry. Discard the top five cards of your deck. If we hit a thwart. One, two, three, four, five. Fortunately, we hit a thwart, so. Dustmaster will scheme. So, two plus. Nothing. So, only two. That, that really doesn't matter that much. Okay, well, that was that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, I doubt I'm healing, so I'll just flip back. We'll take the damage from the forced, uh, force response here. So, one damage. That's okay. We will crushing blow using the support of the leap, so four damage here. And we'll hit for four damage more. That is our turn, so we ready up and draw back up four. Assess the situation under surveillance, Quake and Hulk smash, so we'll just hopefully get the chance to Hulk smash next turn. Uh, we go to the villain phase, uh, we add one threat and one threat from here. Uh, Taskmaster attacks, I won't defend, so... 2 plus nothing, so we take 2 damage and retaliate 1. Encounter card is combat knife, so that is the end of Taskmaster, so let's just go to the next turn to finish off Taskmaster. So, uh, we will just pay 3 to Hulk Smash and hit for 14 damage, defeating Taskmaster. Unfortunately, we didn't <laughs> hit any any of these uh, guys, but 
that is usually what happens with Hulk when you're playing Taskmaster, so we just burn out Taskmaster as fast as possible and continue to Zola. But I think I will split this campaign into two videos, so uh, this is the end of the first uh, video or part one. So check out part two where I will face off against Zola and finally the Red Skull with Hulk Justice. So thanks for watching and until next time.